Ball of the eight.
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. She's still feeling like she's going to come out of the back seat. So that way, she gets back. She's quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 is number 58 on the tackle there for the NFL Academy. So still, still not giving up the fight, coach, is what you like, you like to see. They, 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 are, they still have some fight in them. They're still playing hard, still playing fast, and giving, giving everything they have. Uh, fantastic punt there. Fair, fair call at the 40-yard line. And perhaps another scoring opportunity here for the NFL Academy. A fantastic turnout here in Energy Park. Great to see so many football fans from both abroad and home coming out to support their teams as part of this weekend that is filled with American football action. They're younger players in now, so we're going to finish out the rest of the game. Well, it's a great opportunity for the younger players as well to, uh, to get to see some real game time and get some experience under their belt. Uh, Flight down on the far sideline. More than likely going to be a hold on the uh, the NFL Academy offense. The NFL Academy just by playing over the next year or so, they're, they're going to keep improving. You can drill all you want during the course of the year. The best experience is playing. And as many games as these young fellows can get in, is only going to benefit them down the road. Physically, uh, the alignment certainly meet the standards as far as collegiate alignment. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. I couldn't agree more. This is an invaluable experience with these young men. And certainly being part of, of this gift experience in Ireland, is something they will remember as the quarterback takes off for a strong run there. Number 12, Sam Fenton, who's had a very strong game today, particularly when he runs the ball, but he's also had a number of good passes as well. And I don't think the scoreboard really reflects the, uh, the lack of effort put in by the NFL Academy. They played a fantastic game, but just comes down to experience and execution as we've been discussing throughout the day. As he can completion there and there is in fact quarterback Brandon Bryant who is now in for the NFL Academy I like what I see on the Academy and that's the influence of their coaches these guys are still playing they're still trying to score everybody's hustling to get in position the absolutely no no quit in the NFL Academy as we roll under two minutes left in the fourth quarter oh deep ball there and it is caught for a touchdown 
So finishing on a strong note for the NFL Academy there with 90 seconds left to go. It's quarterback Brandon Bryant with a touchdown pass to, uh, to the wide receiver. So, coach, that was a, a, a nice way to finish out the game. A consolation touchdown. That's the kind of attitude you want to have in your kids. That you're going to continue to play until the game is over. Absolutely. To, to compete, it's, it's pretty hard to go in any sport. And they're going to attempt a two point conversion here. And he will be successful in the two point conversion. So 34 24, folks, with 90 seconds left. A very respectable scoreline for this NFL Academy. See you, you're popping your shades back on, coach. So, Let's see if we get the onside kick here now. Absolutely, yeah. The onside kick could be on here. It wouldn't surprise me after what we've seen today. So they are lining up in a normal kickoff formation. Be interesting to see what they do here. The Friars are certainly prepared for an onside kick attempt anyway. The ball has to go 10 yards. Uh, they have indeed kicked it directly to the Friars on a late hit. Oh, and a retaliation. It's, that was a silly, silly thing to do there. Several flags on the field, and there will be penalties on both sides. As so, some lack of discipline showing their coach, uh, perhaps frustration, and the coaches won't be happy to see that. No, you have to keep your composure. And So we have a. So you go through those types of things, Jim, and, and you can bring it out on film and, and show your players that four or five plays that have happened in the game that where the composure leads to a penalty against you. You got to learn from that because as you get into the season and your drive is to play down the road in the playoffs, state playoffs, it's going to be very important because in those tight games. Three or four plays make the difference. I would look for this team coming up. These are two good teams coming up, uh, high quality in their re respective states. You play at that level and you let three or four penalties get away from you, can change the out outcome of a game. So those penalties will offset, and it will be possession to the to the Friars. And the Friars with less than 90 seconds to go. You imagine they will be attempting to run the clock out here. A strong run up the middle. That's an old time power play right there. Just run off tackle with a lead blocker. It's the old school, as they used to call it. Yes, indeed, old school. Timeout by NFL Academy. Curious, really. Oh, 
A uh, really enjoyable first game here in the first of our triple header of fixtures. As we see behind me, I can see the Baylor School fans filing into the stadium for game number two. So stay with us, folks. We have lots more football where that came from. And we're delighted to be here and delighted to have you with us. So, Coach, looking ahead to the third game, you're involved with the Junior Wolf fans. What do you expect from the young gentlemen? Well, they... I t talked to Coach yesterday at the prep rally, and they've uh, been together. They're coming from all over Ireland, even Northern Ireland. So it'll be interesting to see how they are able to put it together in such a short period of time against an experienced high school American team. And uh, Naples is a very quality team also. Yes, indeed. Some of the uh, young Junior Wolf fans playing their first competitive fixture of American football this evening. Uh, so we eagerly anticipate seeing how that one goes for them. And we'll, certainly the Irish contingent up here in the press box will be rooting for them. <laughs> so another run up the middle and another strong defensive showing from the, from the D-line there. And another timeout taken by the NFL Academy. As they d delay the inevitable defeat. You know, the NFL Academy, the, these fellas get the opportunity to go to the United States to play in college. They're, they're only going to get better and better. And they're going to play against, obviously, great competition. Some of the schools are going to. So this is a wonderful opportunity for them. Yeah, yes, indeed, Coach. So both teams in the huddle and we will see what transpires next as we have one minute and four seconds left in the fourth quarter there's a growing buzz here in the stadium as the fans for game number two arrive in the stadium and our Irish fans enjoying the action here as well uh, Monsignor Bonner interior line has really done a nice Nice job. I'm sure they're going to grade out well on their film work. Quarterback flanked by two running backs on there. Yes, indeed. They're going to kneel the rest of this game out. So 34-24, the final score here in Donnybrook Stadium between the Bonner and Prendy Friars and the NFL Academy. As teammates, congratulate each other. And a kneel down once again to finish this game out. Congratulations to the Bonner Prendy Friars of Philadelphia victorious in their first game of the season against the NFL Academy. Folks, do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with more American football action here. Coach, thanks very much for joining me. Pleasure working with you, Jim. Folks, we'll be right back.